okay so hello friends today our topic is the classification of fungi so let's see what are the types of the fungi or the classification so first one is the morphological classification classification next one is the based on the sexual spore spore or it is also called the taxonomical classification okay, and the third one is the based on the location so let's start with the morphological classification so morphological classification they are classified as yeast, yeast like molds and dimorphic fungi so let's see what is yeast yeast they grow as round to oval cells that reproduce by an asexual process called budding so here you can see the formation of bud so there they form bud the examples are is cryptococcus new formants next is like here the bud remains attached to the mother cell elongates and undergoes repeated budding to form chains or elongated cells known as pseudohypi so here you can see that this is the pseudohypi 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 they are elongated from the mother cell mother chain so here it is you can see this is the mother cell and they are the elongated pseudohypi okay so this is like example is here example is candida albicans candida albicans okay so next one is the molds molds they grow as long branching filaments of 2 to 10 micrometer with called hyphae so here you can see this is the accepted hyphae and this is septed hyphae okay so this is accepted hyphae and this is septed hyphae and this is a mycelium what is mycelium hyphae grow continuously and form a branching tangled tangled mass of growth called mycelium so here the molds the examples are rhizopus rhizopus and aspergillus okay okay so next one is the dimorphic fungi so they uh, they exist as molds and why it is called dimorphic because they uh, exist in two morphological classify classification first one is molds and another one is yeast so molds are high hyphal form and the yeast are budding form so molds are seen at 25 degrees celsius and yeast form is seen at 37 degrees celsius uh, molds seen in environment and this is uh, yeast seen in, seen in human tissue we'll see this example so here you can remember by a mnemonic called h s b c p square h for histoplasma capsulatum s for sporothrix skinnicki b for blastomyces dermatitis c for coccidioides brasiliensis p, p first p is paracoccidioides brasiliensis and p for penicillium marnefii marnefii okay now uh, see now come to the taxonomical classification taxonomical classification there are mainly four classification so first one is phylum zygomycota next is phylum ascomycota next is phylum basidiomycota and the last is phylum fungi deuteromycota so here phylum zygomycota sexual spores called zygospore okay basically uh, this is based on the classification of sexual spores because they reproduce by sexual spore formation okay so here uh, next is ascomycota their sexual spore is uh, ascospores basidiomycota their sexual spore is basidiospore and deuterom deuteromycota they lack sexual spore so it is also called fungi imperfecti okay so this is the taxonomical classification now come to the classification based on the location so here three classification superficial class mycosis subcutaneous mycosis and the deep mycosis or the systemic mycosis so first one is the uh, superficial mycosis so name implies that this is superficial so superficial layer of skin hair nail and mucosa example is dermatophytes next is sub subcutaneous mycosis here you can uh, here also subcutaneous tissue will be involved 
skin and the subcutaneous tissue involved. Examples M R C S M for mycetoma, R for rhinosporidiosis, C for chromoblastomycosis, S for sporotrichosis. So this was the classification based uh, superficial mycosis. Next is subcutaneous mycosis. Sorry, subcutaneous mycosis is done. Now next is the deep mycosis. Deep mycosis or systemic mycosis. So they involve multiple organs. So viscera, viscera are involved, visceral involvement. Example is dimorphic fungal disease and the can, candida cryptococcus. So here you have to remember the dimorphic, dimorphic fungal disease except sporotrichosis. Okay. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, then please do not forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe my channel.